This program contains graphic material, including offensive language. Viewer discretion is advised. The United States, with entry points at hundreds of airports, harbors, and along a border of more than 100,000 miles, is protected by the Department of Homeland Security, including the Transportation Security Administration, the U.S. Coast Guard, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, and Customs and Border Protection, including the Border Patrol. This is Homeland Security USA. Here at Pittsburgh International Airport, the Transportation Security Administration checks the IDs of more than 5 million outbound travelers each year. It's not every day that the TSA comes face to face with an MIT student eager to engineer an unusual experiment. Online, there's a law that I don't need to show my ID whenever I go through a security checkpoint. That I don't need to show my ID. So I wanted to test that today. So right now, I'm going to go through and see if I can get through without an ID. The moment of truth has arrived, and Benjamin is about to put his high-priced MIT education to the test. It's a crash course in border security. Will Benjamin pass or fail? Benjamin, the MIT Brainiac, is moving ahead with his own personal game of Are You Smarter Than a TSA Officer? of an ID is a bit of a gray area with the, uh, uh, with the government and with TSA, so I'd like to know, you know, am I actually allowed to fly without an ID? Hi, are you the supervisor yes, of the TSA? Yes, I am. Can you mm -hmm. tell me whether it's legal to fly without showing an ID? Uh, yes. It is legal to fly without showing an yes, ID. Yes, Okay. People get them lost and stolen all the time, right? Okay. He's trying to use the... Uh, the, the passenger rights against us. You know, oh, this is what, you know, now you can't make me do any more than this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Well, it's, but, I, but I can, you know, it's my right to, to say no, correct? Right? Okay, and I have the right to put you in selecting screening. Selecting screening. You'll get a little extra screening. A little extra screening. I think that if you refuse to show an ID, you should certainly be checked. You know, that's a little bit of a red flag. A little bit of a red flag. Who noticed he was flamed up? Screening, yes. I found uh, nothing to hide. So, well, then, if you have nothing to hide, why well, don't you show me your ID? Arms out. Thank you. Well, if somebody wants to come in and not show their ID, not show their ID, it takes so much time. It causes them problems. It causes them problems. It causes them problems. It causes as we uh, started to uh, screen him, I uh, found his wallet, and as I found his wallet, there was... PCP, marijuana, and cocaine. Crack cocaine was popping. It was, it was off the hook, off the chain. Maybe next time I'll hide my ID a little bit better and see if they can find it. See if they can find it. So what exactly have we learned in class today? Easy for you to say. I, I think we proved that the law is that you don't need an ID to fly on domestic flights. 
If you're thinking of trying this at home, don't. There's now a new requirement that states if you don't show a DHS-approved photo ID, you may not be allowed to board. And no, Benjamin's experiment had nothing to do with this change in procedure. Crack cocaine was popping. It was, it was off the hook, off the chain. <laughs>